Thank you, Emily. Our next senior speech will be presented by Emma Klein. Emma has been attending St. Stephen's for two years. During her time here, she has been a member of our varsity girls lacrosse team and is the historian for the National Spanish Honor Society. We will now hear Emma Klein's senior speech. For every year of high school, I've learned key lessons to take in. These lessons have reminded me of who I am and have taught me to look for the good in everything, even when it seems like there is none. My freshman year was the year COVID hit, and similarly to everyone else, I learned not to take things for granted. I couldn't play in my lacrosse tournaments, and I couldn't see my friends due to most of my family being immunocompromised. I reminisced on when life was normal, and I realized I needed to be more grateful in my life. Other than that, my freshman year was pretty simple. The next year, however, challenged me in ways I couldn't imagine. Going to a Catholic school as a Jewish person was incredibly hard. Getting constantly told by my theology teacher the Holocaust did not exist, even after I told him my grandfather survived Auschwitz as a twin, was not fun to say the least. It was incredibly draining to constantly defend my religion and ethnicity. As awful as it was, I'm grateful for this experience. His hate actually brought me closer with my own family. Abba, thank you for always listening to me and giving me motivation. You always reminded me to keep the end in mind and to always remember that pain is temporary, but being stupid is forever, so I should continue working towards my goals. I couldn't have asked for a better Abba, and I'm so grateful for you. Ani ofe oha. Dago, thank you for always being in my corner and supporting me no matter what. You always want the best for me, and I appreciate you always going out of your way to make sure I'm okay. I strive to make you proud every day. I love you. Mami, gracias por todo. Soy la mejor mami del mundo y no sé qué haría sin vos. Gracias por siempre escucharme y siempre estar de acuerdo conmigo. Te amo con toda mi alma. Junior year was the year I made the decision to switch to St. Stephen's. It was hard at first, I rarely knew anyone, and I felt so alone. But by the end, it ended up being one of the best years. I forced myself to get out of my comfort zone in just about every regard, and it proved to be beneficial, even if it was uncomfortable at first. When I first started talking to Emily, I thought she was emo, but now she's like my sister to me. Emily, thank you for always brightening on my day. Whenever I'm having a rough day, you always know how to make me feel better. You're my platonic soulmate, and I don't know what I'd do without you. I look up to you, and I admire your strength. You're so resilient, and you always seem to know how to bounce back. You're one of the kindest people I've ever met, and I'm so glad to have met you. Our little conversations about random things are my favorite, and they always make me laugh so hard. Sometimes I think we have telepathic powers because we always know what the other is thinking. I love you and I'm so proud of you. It's been amazing watching you grow. For IQ week last year, we decided to do Pioneer Plunge. I tried to back out, but Mr. Johnson said it was too late, even though it wasn't. I am, however, incredibly grateful I went. I ended up meeting my bestie, CJ. From the day I met him, I knew he was special. When my anxiety gets the best of me, he always knows how to bring me back. Thank you for always reassuring me that everything will be okay, and pushing me to be a better person every day. Talking to you is one of my favorite parts of my day. Even when you're busy, you always seem to make time for me, and I love every minute I spend with you. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I love you. Some other important people in my life have been Sophie, Carly, Megan, and Sienna. I love you all. Thank you for everything. You're the sweetest. Also, big thank you to Emily's family. You guys are like my second family. Thank you for helping me through all of my car crashes. Yeah. And <laughs> Joey, Bella, you guys are like my siblings. I love you all. Today, I'm about halfway through my senior year, and I've realized how important talking to my teachers is. Thank you, Mr. Kaya and Senora Gustavus, for always listening to my random rants. I'm so grateful to have had y'all as my teachers these past two years. Thank you, Mr. Unelli, for reminding me why I love learning. History has now become my favorite subject, and I, appreci I appreciate you stressing the importance of little details. Although aggravating at times, it's forced me to pay extra close attention and has in turn made me a more observant person. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, for being so understanding. You're always a listening ear, and you've pushed me to be a better writer with every essay I've written. Your classroom has always been a safe space for me. These key lessons have shaped me into the person I am and will continue to be. Soon, I'll start a new chapter and for the first time be away from the people I love. Although I may undergo rough times, I now know to look for the good in every situation. I still have a lot to learn, but I couldn't be luckier to have met such amazing people along the way. Although terrifying, I know with my support system and my newfound mentality that I'll surely be able to thrive. Thank you.